perfectly, I'm 150% sure. I could be wrong, but 150% sure, I believe it was the evicted Mr. Bones, aka Doying. Guys, for someone to be 150% sure that someone did something, saying I could be wrong is totally wrong from my own end because for you to say that you are 150% sure, that means you can bet your all that this person actually did that. But the funniest thing about all of this is that it wasn't even doing that wrote the letter. It was just because of the fact that CC decided to just carry that news, to just paints doing as the person that wrote the letter because before going she actually dropped a letter to them and she just feel that okay for doing to even drop that letter for them it could probably be that she was the one that wrote the letter she even went ahead to say that hmm because of the kind of english that was used that facade that was used in that letter that she knows that doing has a very good command of english so she is the one that could probably wrote the letter ever since she dropped those assumptions venita have just wear it on her body like clothes to say that she is 100 percent 150 percent sure rather that it was doing that wrote the letter meanwhile we the viewers will seen that it wasn't doing that wrote the letter anyways because of that she had a whole lot of cruel thing mean thing negative thing to say about doing during her diary session and guys after this her diary session a lot of people have dragged Ilebaye, insulted Ilebaye, called Ilebaye out that she is a bad friend she is a wicked friend she is a mean friend that she doesn't even regard doing at all because if she does that she would have used this opportunity to speak up for doing knowing fully well that it wasn't even doing that wrote the letter that for her to even keep silent and allow those housemates to believe that doing actually wrote the letter letter meanwhile she knows exactly the person that wrote that letter that that makes her a very bad friend a mean friend and a friend that can never defend or speak up for her friend and guys like it have caused a whole lot of reaction on social media meanwhile guys doing decided to tender a public apology to beauty and guys no be smart you know it was a whole lengthy apology letter and the beauty's reaction guys really shocked everybody guys doing have been on a row writing letter both inside and outside the house anyways detail of all of this i am actually going to be telling you in this particular video all you need to do watch at the end of this video subscribe my channel click on the notification bell button and please do not forget to give this particular video a very big thumbs up so guys venita had a whole lot of mean and cruel thing to say about doing just because in her mind she felt that doing actually wrote that letter to adekunle the little that i did read from the letter my understanding is that she suddenly had amorous feelings towards somebody that she has persecuted for a whole year who doesn't interact with her who doesn't really think that much of her so for venita she said the little she read from the letter even though with the viewers we knew that she never read the letter she just thought the letter immediately they handed over the letter to her and flushed it down the toilet because adekunle also confirmed that that was what she did that she did not read the letter in fact adekunle said it was better that she did not read the letter because if she had read the letter that she would have reacted more than she did that day so she said from the little she read from the letter though he said she has an amorous feeling for adekunle whom she persecuted for a whole year who doesn't even talk to her who doesn't even think much about her that she is a woman she should learn how to let the green light go that well what does she expect from a person who actually harassed a bouncer for more than half an hour oh my was just like a way like seriously she said a whole lot about doing she even went ahead to say that doing actually wrote that letter so that she would manipulate the house and turn the house upside down knowing fully well that she was going to be evicted that was why she wrote a letter to cc alice and mercy ak like she called doing a whole lot of names she called her dry bone she called her a lot of things honestly i think the reason why she actually used that opportunity to call doing a whole lot of things and drag doing to stupor was because of the fact that she couldn't get the chance
dance on Sunday to actually retaliate or actually react to some of the things that Doin said during the Sunday life eviction before she was evicted from the house. Guys, moving forward, no be smart, you know, because of all of these people, we are seriously dragging Ileba here, saying that she is a bad friend, she is not just good friend at all. Like, why would she watch people in the house accuse Doin, insult her for what she knows nothing about, knowing fully well that she was aware that it wasn't Doin that wrote the letter that she should have, at least in a way inform the house that that kind of letter cannot be coming from doing that they did not even say she should expose NJO that what they were saying is that she should have at least defended doing because of that a lot of people on social media are seriously calling her out saying how much of a bad friend she is um guys i'm like but the person that actually wear that narrative on doing they are not just insulting her they are not just calling her out and the other person that wrote the letter no Nobody is calling them out on social media. It is a labor that they are calling out. Anyways, moving forward, no be smart, you know, doing after coming outside from the house, seeing a whole lot of things that she said about beauty in the house. Guys, she was really, really ashamed and embarrassed of herself that she didn't know what to do, if not to just go publicly to tender a public apology to beauty. And guys, in her letter, she actually acknowledged the fact that she had a whole lot to say about beauty but it was not coming from a malicious part of her that she regrets all the negative things she said and how it have impacted on their friendship and she acknowledged that she valued beauty so so much that she wouldn't want her behavior to put their friendship at risk guys like she said a whole lot of beautiful things at the end of it she just said she hoped that beauty forgives her that because of the fact that she said and did what she did publicly that that is why she is apologizing publicly lo and behold after some wow Beauty took to her Twitter to say, BG for life, I love you too, at official doing. Guys, I'm just like, uh huh. Even though fans do not even find that letter that doing wrote to Beauty funny at all because they were just telling Beauty to be very, very careful of doing, not to put her in that class again, that they shouldn't even be sharing information because for them, they feel that anything that they told doing, she is actually going to spill it at any given opportunity where she has issue with persons so people we are there saying that okay well, they prefer a friend like Lebaye to a friend like Doin because Doin cannot keep information Doin is that friend when she fight with you she will just be spilling all the information you told her in confidence that even though Beauty is actually going to go back to be friend with Doin again that she should not just be spilling anything to her because Doin is actually going to be releasing the information if there is any bad buzz between their two but guys do you actually think that doing is that kind of person that could that cannot keep information like me i don't know i don't know i don't know because all i think is that what they went into that house to play is a strategy so i am still in my strategy assumption mode this is where i'll be ending this particular video go ahead let me know your thoughts subscribe to my channel please